So you brought up capitalism earlier, and there are a lot of people who love capitalism and a lot of people who really, really don't. And it's, it struck me recently that uh, what's happening with capitalism here is exactly analogous to the way in which superintelligence might wipe us out. So, you know, you know I studied economics for my undergrad, Stockholm School of Economics, yay. <laughs> well, no, no, I tell me. So I was very interested in how, how how you could use market forces to just get stuff done more efficiently, but give the right incentives to the market so that it wouldn't do really bad things. So Dylan had Phil Manel, who's a, a professor and colleague of mine at MIT, wrote this really interesting paper with some collaborators recently where they proved mathematically that if you just op take one goal that you just optimize for on and on and on indefinitely that you think is going to bring you in the right direction, what basically always happens is in the beginning, it will t make things better for you. But if you keep going, at some point, it's going to start making things worse for you again. And then gradually, it's going to make it really, really terrible. So just as a simple, the way I think of the proof is, like, suppose you want to go from here back to Austin, mm -hmm. for example, and you're like, okay, yeah, let's just let's go south, but you put in exactly the right sort of the right direction. Just optimize that south as possible. You get closer and closer to Austin, but uh, you, you, there's always some little error. So you, you you're not going exactly towards Austin, but you get pretty close. But then eventually you start going away again, and eventually you're going to be leaving the solar system. <laughs> Yeah, and they they proved it's a beautiful mathematical proof. This happens generally, and this is very important for AI because for, for even though Stuart Russell has written a book and given a lot of talks on why it's a bad idea to have AI just blindly optimize something, that's what pretty much all our systems do. Yeah, we have something called the loss function that we're just minimizing, or reward function we're just minimize, maximizing, and stuff. And um, Capitalism is exactly like that too. We wa we wanted to get stuff done more efficiently than people wanted. So, we introduced the free market. Things got done much more efficiently than they did in, in say, communism, right? And it got better. But then it just kept optimizing it. Uh, and kept optimizing, and you got ever bigger companies and ever more efficient information processing, and now also very much powered by IT. And uh, eventually, a lot of people are beginning to feel, wait, we're kind of optimizing a bit too much. Like, why did we just chop down half the rainforest? You know, and why, why did suddenly these regulators get captured by lobbyists and so on? It's just the same optimization that's been running for too long. If you have an AI that actually has power over the world and you just give it one goal and just like keep optimizing that, most likely everybody's going to be like, yay, this is great in the beginning. Things are getting better. But um, it's almost impossible to give it exactly the right direction to optimize in. And then eventually all, all hey break, breaks loose, right? Nick Bostrom and others have given it, examples that sound quite silly. Like what if you just want to like tell it to, cure cancer or something, and that's all you tell it, maybe it's going to decide to take over entire continents just so it can get more supercomputer facilities in there and figure out how to cure cancer backwards. And then you're like, wait, that's not what I wanted, right? <laughs> and um, the, 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 the issue with capitalism and the issue with runaway AI have kind of merged now <laughs> because the Moloch I talked about is exactly the capitalist Moloch that we have built an economy that has, is optimizing for only one thing, profit, right? And that worked great back when things were very inefficient and then now it's getting done better. And it worked great as long as the companies were small enough that they couldn't capture the regulators. But that's not true anymore, but they keep optimizing. And now we, they realize that, that they can, these companies can make even more profit by building ever more powerful AI, even if it's reckless. But optimize more, 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 more. So this is Moloch again showing up, and I just want to anyone here who has any concerns about about uh, 
late stage capitalism having gone a little too far, you should worry about super intelligence because it's the same villain in both cases. It's, it's Moloch. And optimizing one objective function aggressively, blindly is going to take us there. Yeah, we have this pause from time to time and look into our hearts and ask, why are we doing this? Is this, at, am I still going towards Austin or have I gone too far? You know, maybe we should change direction. And that uh, is the idea behind a halt for six months. Why yeah. six months? It seems like a very short period. Mm -hmm. Just Can we just linger and explore different ideas here? Because this feels like a really important moment in human history where pausing would actually have a significant positive yeah. effect. We said six months because we figured the number one pushback we were gonna get in the West was like, but China. Uh, and uh, everybody knows there's no way that China is going to catch up with the West on this in six months. So it's that argument goes off the table and you can forget about geopolitical competition and just focus on the real issue. That's why we put this. That's really interesting. But you've are already made the case that uh, even for China, if you actually want to take on that argument, Ch China too would not be bothered by a longer halt because they don't want to lose control even more than the West doesn't. That's what I think. That's yeah. a really interesting argument. Like I have to actually really think about that, which the, the kind of thing people assume is if you develop an AGI, that open AI, if they're the ones that do it, for example, they're going to win. But mm -hmm. you're saying, no, they're, everybody loses. Yeah, it's gonna get better and better and better, and then kaboom, we all lose. That's what's gonna happen.